What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Neo, just the crazy day it's had, just the outlook that I'm looking at for Neo going to next week and just you know finishing off this week my thoughts on it. Now before we get to this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. And if you haven't already, click the free Discord link below. Glad to have you there. Now let's get right into this conversation. Let's talk about some technical analysis on Neo. Now, if you look at the overall market today, before we get into Neo, we're going to be looking at the NASDAQ, okay? The NASDAQ has had such a crazy day, guys. It's been unbelievable if you've been watching. If you've been watching tech, you know the day that it's had. Now, just looking at tech right here, we, you know, we dipped up, we were pushing up, we opened up down here. Pre-market, we were right here. Here we opened up. And you know we dipped down, came right back up, and we've been pushing up ever since then. Now Neo has been a little bit of a different story. It has been hasn't been following tech today, and actually we might be in some trouble. Now throughout the week, I've been mentioning on my Neo video, hey, I don't want it breaking here. I do not want it breaking this last low because that signifies that we're still in this downtrend. And what happened today, guys? Unfortunately, we broke that low. Now we have less than 30 minutes to get back above it and close above it. But even then, that's still weakness, guys. So now what I'm looking at next week is it really needs to show strength. If not, we're probably heading lower. Now, I don't want to give out some numbers right now. Um, this is a Friday, so typically volume is lower on Friday. So nothing too huge. But if we do fall down, the next level I'm looking at is probably sub 30s, guys. Right at that 30 level. That's if, if we fall down that low. Just based off of this last week right here and over here, this was a resistance act as a support right here. So potentially, if we basically don't, the buyers don't show up on Monday, then we're probably heading back lower. And then that's not good for Neo. We're right at this last low right here. Yes, the market's pushing up. Buyers are trying to show up, but we're looking grim, guys. Neo's really looking grim. Did not want this to happen this week. Now, I mentioned, uh, you know, in my earlier parts of the videos on Neo this week, that if we get below this first uh, expected move, that's why I do it every week, guys. So here was the first one in between this range right here in between 48 and 39, I think. Yeah, I mentioned if we get underneath that second, that first one, then we're going to hit a dash to that second one really fast. And unfortunately, that's what happened yesterday. And today we, today we gap down and we're right at that second one. The second one, I do believe, is right here at $35. So we're actually a little underneath it. But unfortunately, that's what happened today. That's why I draw the expect to move for you guys because it gives you a gauge of you know where volatility is. Once we get underneath that first parameter right here, that's when volatility ramps up and you see a quick dash to that second one. Unfortunately, Neo succumbed to that today. Now, what I'm looking at tomorrow, just to summarize, or not tomorrow, next week, I forgot today was Friday. Next week is it needs to reclaim this last low right here. It needs to reclaim this last low. Buyers need to show up and we really need to push back in this consolidation range right here. Now, I know that's a huge goal because that's at you know 41.50. So that's about a six star move. I know that's a huge goal. But for Neo to start pushing back up and buyers to show up, it really needs to push up there. If not, guys, we're still in this downturn because what we're working with right now is we were in this downturn right here. We broke out of it. But this week, we basically just got right back in it because we're at this last low previously. So all of this action right here was for nothing, guys. All of it was for nothing because sellers showed up and they were unable to push price up. But if we're able to reclaim this area right here and get back above this area at 41, I think 50, yeah, 41.50, then it wasn't all for nothing and this was just a dip and then we reclaim it back up. But keep in mind, that's going to be very difficult for us to do just based off of the amount of selling pressure we're facing right now. Now, if you look at the RSI, I don't use this to trade, but a lot of people like to view it. We're in the over, we're in the oversold territory. We were here last time we had this dip, beginning of March. You know, we bounced heavy, and we're back at it again. We were unable to reclaim the top of this level, so we're back at this level that we were at previously, based off the RSI. So, does this mean next week that we're going to see that hard bounce and then push up, and we're unable to you know get past these highs, or are we going to see that hard bounce? And then we push up and get past those highs and are able to continue or at least break out of this downtrend. That's the question right now. But what we're working with is that we're underneath this low right here and we're back in the downtrend. We're out of this cliff fall right here because we, you know, we did some action right here, but we're still in this downtrend. All you have to do to just see we're still in the downtrend, guys, is take this line and just move it over, right? 
So now you're working with this. We pushed up, got rejected here, and the next question is, are we gonna get rejected at $40, come back down, or a buyer's going to show up? We don't know until it happened, guys. But what we're working with right now is that we're in this downtrend, we got underneath that low, and it's not looking too good for Neo. So I wish I had better news today, guys. I wish Friday was better. But unfortunately, with regards to Neo, it, the seller showed up today. We're down 7%, and that's what we're working with. Let me know in the comments below. Do you still have faith in Neo? Are you still holding Neo? And what's your outlook on Neo? Really excited to see what you guys think about Neo, and especially with this price, at, price action that's been happening. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.